bam. Mm, it's lighting. Why does it look like this? So bright. I don't really like it. Stop. What do you want? What's up? Hey guys. Um, so you ever wake up and you're just not feeling anything? I woke up today. Oh man, my fucking hair. Let me just say it's also like evening now. Um, but started my day very late. You know, like two or three. Just because you you know you just wake up and you're just not feeling it and you're just like, no. I'm going, no. It's just one of those days, bro. It was just, like, my body was physically hurt. I just felt like, you know, you're so exhausted. You're just like, I'm like, I'm a dead body. I'm a zombie. Like, don't even try to get me to do anything. But that gives you a little glimpse of what today's video is, as you can tell by the title. Today, hmm, we're going to be doing, like, a self-care video. I woke up, wasn't feeling myself, wasn't feeling the world. I tend to go, like, 100% for so long. And then all of a sudden my body's like, okay, we're done. Then I need like a reset period and I need to stop doing that and just learn to like just be 50-50 with shit. I don't know. You know, there was times like when I was like depressed and more anxious than I ever get now. Like, you know, I wouldn't leave my bed for months at a time and that's a toxic, you know, relationship with yourself. Letting that happen for that long because I've done that before and it doesn't do anything for you. You just realize like, what am I doing? So when I feel like that, usually there's something, you know, on your conscious or something going on or you're just your body's tired and your body literally holds trauma and like emotions it can be overwhelming for your body sometimes or like if you're moving or i don't know just things like that there's things in the world that cause stress and then our body is like bro we need to we need a pause like we need a break here please you're overworking me so when i wake up feeling like that i know it's like I need to take some time to rest and take some time to rejuvenate myself instead of keep pushing and keep doing 100 whatever because that's not going to help you, you know. Later on, you're just going to have an even bigger buildup of like, oh my god, you know, whatever the feeling I've been talking about, right? Just, I like to feel through it. It's not the funnest thing and I feel like that's why a lot of people distract themselves and, you know, go out and whatever and I feel like the only way for me to get over this stuff is to really heal through it and be like, okay, why do, why do I think I feel like this? What can I do to get myself out of this feeling and also not feel like this in the future? Once you can pinpoint it and even if you can't really pinpoint it and it just feels like a whatever, that was kind of me today. I couldn't really pinpoint it. I just woke up and I was like, why? Like, everything's going good. Why do I feel like this? And I just think it's because I've had some things happen in the past couple of days that kind of like like, oh, switched everything up. And I found out I wasn't staying in LA as long as I thought, which, how about that? But you know, just like things that you're like, oh, okay, now I have to like prepare myself for this next thing happening. I have under eye bags, like I didn't put makeup on. Might look a little dead, but it's okay. Self-care day anyways. I just take time to heal through it and self-care I think is the biggest thing you can do to heal and whatever. Put that attention into yourself and love into yourself instead of like putting that into other people and things to distract yourself and whatever. I'm going on a little rant per usual. Like I feel like a lot of self-care people tend to think it's superficial like getting your hair done, doing your nails. I mean that's part of self-care because I think when you, you know, look your best, you can feel your best. Like in some situations, but I don't think that's completely everything. I don't think superficial things like that have as much meaning as like journaling and doing meditation. So, is it, is it going? Yes. Position one. Second. <laughs> Uno momento. Position two. This is my preferred position. That sounds so wrong. You're so stupid. Okay, 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 okay. I like this one. You just lay down. I put my hands either on my chest or by my side. But if you fall asleep easily, don't even try to do this. Just don't even try. <laughs> Shadow work and astrology, you know, things like that that's more of like comforting and like, oh, this is why this is happening. Getting your nails and your hair done and all that stuff, that's a temporary feeling of like happiness. And I feel like meditation is a constant thing. When you meditate, you're working to a higher consciousness every time you meditate. It's not like you only feel that way when you're meditating. Once you meditate every day and it becomes part of your daily life, will feel almost like you're just like in that state of mind, you know, constantly. You don't get overwhelmed and stressed and it's easier to like think through your thoughts. My brain is like like all the time. I'm always thinking, I'm always creating scenarios, overthinking stuff, making sure that I know exactly what's happening. I want to have everything kind of be in control. And you can't in the world. You can <laughs> nothing is except for your actions. That's the only thing that you can really control, your actions, right? And you guys know I want to really focus on mental health and also beauty and fashion and like everything, lifestyle, whatever. I also want mental health to like be a big topic on my channel as well because it has taken up so much of my life and I feel like I'm in like just a much better mindset that I look back 
you know, at my younger self, and I'm like, I, I feel bad for you in a way, bro, because you were really hurting. Like, I was, you know, it's the best feeling looking back and being like, I don't feel like that anymore. Like, that's fucking dope. So I'm just gonna show you stuff that I do. Some of it is, you know, superficial or whatever, because it does help. I'm probably not gonna put on makeup, though, because that sounds like a lot of work. Also, I'm gonna shower. Self-care, honey. You gotta do it. It's a big thing. If you don't do it, mm, life's not gonna be so great. It's not gonna be so happy. There's gonna be a lot more stress in your life than there should be. Let's do that self-care, honey. Come on. Once a week at least, okay? I feel like every time you get in a funk, just do a little, even if it's like a 10 minute little routine, it's good for your body to feel like you're taking care of it, you know? Because when you feel nourished or whatever, it's when you feel your best. And hold on, one more thing. I just, <laughs> just want to make it known that I don't wake up, mm, fucking Bianca stuff, girl, messy. I don't like wake up like, oh, I'm gonna funk, I'm gonna do this and get my self care, whatever. Like, no, it took me so long to be like, Mount. Snap yourself out of it. Sometimes when you're in that mindset, all you want to do is just sit there and kind of sulk and be like, mm, mm, mm. Sometimes you have to do it, but you got to snap yourself out of it. I only let it last, you know, a couple hours, and I was like, why am I moody? All right, Mel, let's fucking do something to change that, because who likes being moody? It's not fun. People don't like moody people. <laughs> like, so get your ass up. I'm telling you now. And do something. Because I tell myself that every day. It's really fucking hard to listen sometimes. But every time I listen, I'm like, okay, look, look, I'm, I'm going about my shit, I'm enjoying my whatever, I'm cooking, I'm having a good time. Instead of sitting on the couch like, what's the point of life? I don't understand. Does that make sense? I think it's also just like talking to you guys just like amps me up. It might f sound like I'm not in a mood because of the way I'm talking and whatever, but I'm telling you, when I woke up this morning, I, I did not have this energy. I also, whenever I film, you know, it gives me joy, it makes me feel uplifted and whatever. It's just so like, ugh, because when you feel like that, like when you're in a funk, you don't, there's no part of you that like wants to get up and do something. But I'm telling you, if there's something you love, once you get up and you start doing it, like the shit's gonna fade away. You feel me? Like all the other things, your brain's too focused on what it's doing at the moment and you're liking it. And then other shit kind of, ooh, all right. I'm gonna stop ranting. Also, sorry if my hair looks frizzy. I'm just, yeah. Self-care day! <laughs> Lego. I just got out of the shower and it ruined my nicely straight hair from yesterday. But it's okay. I don't wash my hair every day. I'm not gross, okay? It's just not good for you. My hairstylist told me when I was younger not to do that, so I don't do it. And that's why my hair can go a while without getting greasy and dry or whatever. It's a little wet around here because I wash my face so my frizzies are gonna come back woo I love my baby hairs that are just so frizzy and I don't know what to do with them I'm not gonna do makeup I'm not gonna do hair it is what it is self-care today that's just not what I want to do I don't want to put makeup on at like 8 p.m. to do nothing but maybe tomorrow okay <laughs> it's not really self-care right come here but I just took this one out right come here <laughs> I just took this one out to go to Porte. that's why I'm wearing this it's been cold in LA, okay? And I'm not used to the cold. I'm from California, so even if it's 40, 50 degrees, that's cold to me. Don't put me in that negative shit. I don't know what I'll do. But now it's really hot. Okay, we are going to make tonight's egg rolls and fast stickers. Yo, yo. And then vegetable fried rice. I wanted to make like lettuce chicken wraps with like orange sauce or whatever. And it's already 9 o'clock and I'm really hungry. So I'll make those another night but I literally bought like all the lettuce and ingredients and stuff because I really want to make them. I kind of wanted to like show you guys me making them but it's going to take too long and I'm hungry. But I think these will hold me over. I mean look how big. Have you ever seen an egg roll? That thick. Oh my god. It looks like a little burrito. Like compared to my finger. But yeah so I'll probably make like just one of these. Voila. All right, it's not the prettiest looking. Gluten-free stuff, it's really hard to like overcook it and like not overcook it. That's why it looks different than your usual pot stickers and egg rolls because they're gluten-free, so. So they look a little funky, but they still taste good. I'm gonna like dip that, you know, use this for the egg roll. I'm literally sweating from cooking. I just took a shower. Whew, it's getting steamy in the kitchen. I'm about to eat and I'm going to watch Midnight Gospel. Hi. Hello, where are you? If you have not seen this, I would 100% recommend. I've already seen it before, but I'm rewatching it. They used the sound of a podcast and made it into a show. It's really fucking cool. It's all about life and stuff. I have to tiptoe like this whenever I walk because the neighbors downstairs hate me for no reason and literally file noise complaints when I shower and when I'm sitting on the couch. Um, and the cops have been here three times. So that's a whole nother subject to get into, but yeah, they just hate me. They hate me so much. And even the cops are like, why are we here? You're not having a party or anything. I'm like, I know, I don't know. Turning on the lights, Mel, take a deep breath. Yay, pretty lights. Me. Oh, hi. 
Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I love food. Time for this. I'm excited. All right, without sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That's so good. Wow. Mmm. I've not had an egg roll in so long. Wow. All right, I'm eating this one handed. This is hard. Let's try the pasta, guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yep, wife me up, bitch. This is so good. Wow. Yep. All right, I'm happy. I'm gonna go eat, and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. I'm sorry I keep looking up here. It's like weird looking down. It's been a while since I've done this whole thing. I'll get used to it, all right? If you're having like an off day and you're in a funk or whatever, do not watch a horror movie, a drama, an emotional something. Watch something lighthearted. I like watching stuff about like universes and whatever, like Rick and Morty and um, the Midnight Gospel is just all about like different dimensions and consciousness and like things that like, I don't know, like that gives me comfort because the number one thing I question is just like, why are we here? So I love watching shit like that. When I'm in a funk, don't watch something that's gonna bring your frequency down. You know, something with bad vibes because that's just gonna add to your bad vibes. Research shit you know like makes you like want to i don't know do something like when i watch these shows i'm like oh my god i want to like watch more videos like about that topic like that's awesome that makes your energy just feel like inspired i don't know all right i'm gonna shut up so yeah just a little piece of advice accepting and perceiving and dealing with reality on reality's terms mm. self-care day two i just woke up literally five minutes ago as you can see with my face i had taco bell last night before i went to bed so my face feels swollen sodium makes your face swell and your body swell so i cut my hair last night <laughs> also wearing like funny enough this like scholar oh national society of honor school students i don't know i was a good student i had a 3.85 like, or 3.9 so come at me I need chapstick. Oh my god. I'm telling you that Taco Bell is salty. Also, I cut my finger while I was cutting my hair. Um, <laughs> Self-care. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Sometimes you need more than one self-care day and it's okay. I'm gonna go take Ryder on a walk. I'll be back. Self-care day two. Alright. Gave myself some... some... <laughs> Out of the shower. Put a little bit of eyeliner on to make myself, um, you know. I'm so hungry. And I want a snack, so I'm gonna eat this. Dang it, dang. Yogurt with like the berries and then you mix it, whatever. I feel like it looks like I literally just have two strands of hair. I put granola in it to make it better in my opinion. <laughs> I was eating like shit for a while and then my body literally started craving healthy foods and I was like, okay, Mel, no, like this is when you know. And I just was waking up feeling really bloated and like swollen all the time. I was ordering takeout a lot and that's a lot of sodium and takeout food and stuff. So I tried to be healthier. I ordered groceries and they've been lasting me almost like three weeks and it's all been healthy-ish stuff, so making progress. Just thought I would show you what I'm eating for a snack. I literally had Taco Bell the other night with my friend at like two in the morning. So I, I really can't say that I'm being super healthy, but I'm making the transition. I'm making it. I wanna like be able to like eat healthy and also like eat what I want, so you know what I'm saying? My hair's really messing with me. I just feel like I look like coconut head. <laughs> <laughs> I have my hair in a bun because I want it to get kind of curly or whatever, wavy. I'm gonna go eat this. I'm gonna shut up about my healthy habits. This is about self-care. Who cares about? But also, eating healthy is self-care. Don't forget about that. When I eat healthy, I just feel better. I think everyone does. Um, I want to see what my hair looks like right now. Oh, boy. That didn't really work. Um, I'm gonna eat this and figure out my hair because what is going on? No, <laughs> no.